Hi everybody, my 1030 dog is here. It's a golden retriever and his name is Calvin. And we are going to get started with the bath. I use a ramp so I don't have to lift any of the big dogs. And once they use it a couple times, they just keep on using it. So today he's getting a bath, conditioner, hair cut, nails cut, ears clean, and, and he's also getting a dog bandana. I'm going to start off by loading him up with some shampoo. Go ahead and run this pin brush through his hair. You want to smell that? It just helps to loosen up everything while he's got a shampoo on. See, look at this. It's just pulling out clumps. If you brush them while they're wet, as long as it's not tangled, it really helps when I blow dry him. It'll blow out a lot of that undercoat because it's loosened it all up. See? It's all that hair. I'm gonna do it again with the with the conditioner when I put the conditioner on. And this is just a cheap uh, pin brush I got from the dollar store. I don't know how long it'll last, but look how it's just pulling all that hair out. The thing I like about the pin brush is it's not sharp. Like a slicker brush is very sharp, but this pin brush. It's gentle. I mean, it, it doesn't hurt. So I'm just going to brush through this hair. He's getting conditioner too, so I'm going to put conditioner on and run the brush through him again. Is that your hair? You smell your hair? All right. Good, Colvin. It's really... I don't like to dilute the conditioner. You're supposed to. I just like to do it this way. But this, this is going to get a lot of that undercoat out. I'm going to go ahead and just towel dry his face, well, his whole body. But dry off his face, and then I'm going to clean up my mess in the tub. Then I'll get him back out and finish drying him on the table and cut his hair. If you guys, you guys might notice that his head tilts to the side. I'm just saying, in case you notice. It, it always does that. I don't know why, but that's just how he is. I just laid his towel down on the ramp so he doesn't get it all wet. And I'm going to walk him down the ramp and put him back in his cage while I clean up my mess. Hold on. Okay. Come here. 
He goes right in and sits down. Come here. Come here. Come here. Go up the ramp. Come here. There we go. There we go. Come on. There we go. Okay. Come here. I'm going to go ahead and raise him up and I'm going to get started by finish blow drying him. I'm having some problems with my microphone. I hope it sounds okay. And if it doesn't, I apologize. The sound might be going up and down. And you're going to have to adjust it because I don't know what I'm doing. Oh, he looks shiny. I have the fan going to help him dry a little bit. Plus, it's getting really warm. It's almost 100 degrees outside. I spray him down with some conditioning spray before I brush him out. Get my slicker brush and put my mask on and start brushing. I'm going to start off by shaving the pads of his feet with a 30 blade. Okay, I just checked the file. He's actually getting um, a number one comb attachment. just enough to neaten them up all over. Take off all the scraggly hairs. I'm using my slicker brush to brush his tail out. This is a very easy golden retriever. His hair is very thin. There's two kinds of golden retriever coats. There's a field golden. And I'm going to assume this is a field golden because he's got thinner hair and he's got longer feathers. He's got a couple little tangles in here, so I'm just using my dematting tool just to kind of cut through them. So I don't have to pull so hard on his tangles. I'm shaving under his tail with a tin blade. Nice and short back here, so it stays clean when he goes to the bathroom. I'm also going to shave his belly out with a tin blade. I'm just blending in the base of her tail back here with my curved chunkers.
basically what I'm doing is just trimming them up all over, just taking off all the scraggly hairs, and now I'm going to trim up his ears and do his neck real quick. But he's a little, he gets spooked easy, so I have to go real slow. Because he will try to jump off the table if I move too fast. I'm using a four blade on his ears. So I'm gonna go back and trim them up, trim along the edges. my chunkers behind his ears. He's ready to go. He's just trimmed up all over. Everything neatened up. He's got a nice short back end here. He still has a fluffy tail. So what I like to do when I'm done grooming them is go back over with my seven skip tooth blade and just skim off anything that's sticking out. It looks pretty good, but there's always hairs that pop out later. He's got, he's got a very easy coat. It's really thin and it's just easy to work with. Like I said earlier, some golden retrievers have lots of hair, but not him. He's going to skim up his butt real quick. He's ready to go, so I'm just going to spray him down with some conditioning spray. And just brush them off, knock off all those loose hairs. Let me get a little bit of water, make sure his face is clean and wipe his face off. It's water! You can't drink that. dress him up. I have some 4th of July tie-on dog bandanas left over from the 4th of July. Do you want to wear this? It has little bicentennial dogs and a button. Yeah, I think he likes it. Alright. You are done. You can go back down the ramp and wait for your mother. Come on, come on. 